Welcome in, everybody. It is the Mountaineers Now Post Game Show presented by Country Roads Air Duck Cleaning. Take me home to comfort. West Virginia falls on the road once again, remaining winless away from WVU Coliseum as they fall to the Kansas State Wildcats 94 to 90 in overtime. And as always, we'll lead things off here with a quick look here at the numbers. And Kirk Risa, 25 points, 8 for 20 from the field, 5 of 12 from three point land. He had six assists to go along with that. Raekwon Battle was uh, pretty exceptional in this one. 10 of 20 from the floor, 6 of 9 from 3. He finishes with 28 on the bench. Pat Sumnick added 10 points for Kansas State. It was the Tyler Perry show, literally. 29 points, 6 assists, 4 rebounds. Arthur Kaluma also had 13 and 5. And Cam Carter, 19 and 8. As far as the team stats go, West Virginia did a much better job of taking care of the basketball in this game. They had just six turnovers compared to the 23 that they had on the road on Saturday against Iowa State. Meanwhile, Kansas State turned it over 16 times, and that was really the biggest difference in this game. That's really what allowed West Virginia to hang around in this one, to claw their way back into it. They were down by as many as 25 points, and it didn't look like there was any chance of a comeback at all. It looked like it was going to be one of those games maybe from earlier in the year when West Virginia played at Texas, and it was just a crap show from the very beginning. And they were just getting manhandled in the paint. They were they were not getting stops. They couldn't find any success on the offensive end. It felt like it was trending toward that. And when you come off a loss like they did two days ago, where they battled really hard in a tough environment at Hilton for 30 minutes, and then things just fell apart in the final 10, you got to wonder if there was going to be some sort of carryover effect. And it seemed like that was going to be the case. Kansas State is one of the worst teams in the Big 12. Actually, I believe they're the number one or well, 14th in terms of turnovers. They throw it away more than any team in the conference, including West Virginia, who's 13th. So that was the big difference in this one is they continued to turn the ball over. I think they had four or five straight possessions without a shot. They turned it over, turned it over, turned it over, and turned it over. West Virginia continued to make shots. Kirk Creaser, Raekwon Battle did a good enough job to keep things going and claw their way all the way back in a 31-9 to run to end the regulation. I, I've, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Um, had West Virginia been able to come away with this win, it would have been the biggest comeback win in Big 12 um, – conference history at least dating back to 2010 2011 so that's a little disappointing again it was a tough road trip Iowa State Kansas State Iowa State playing for big big things big 12 conference title a number one seed potentially Kansas State's battling for their life to get into the NCAA tournament and for this team to play exceptionally well um, except for just the, the endings of these two games. In the Iowa State game, it was just things fell apart. They turned the ball over way too much, and it just everything went wrong. This game, I think it was just more of, well, number one, Jesse Edwards is really not a factor at all. And when he got removed from the game with his fifth foul, that obviously changed their approach. They were out of energy. We already know this is a very uh, short bench as it is. And Kansas State was due. I mean, they they gave up th they gave up a thirty one to nine run, like I said, to end the regulation. They were due to turn things around. Um, but look, I mean, it, it's hard to really nitpick in this one. I mean, defensively, you can go back to the first half, and there was a lot of lapses. There was a lot of selfish play on the offensive end. Uh, too many bad decisions. Too many forced shots. Too many contested looks instead of moving the ball, which is what happened in the second half. They were moving the ball, and it led to 53 points. Wouldn't you be – isn't that surprising? You move the ball, and it doesn't stick, and all of a sudden it goes in the net. It's pretty simple. This game can be that easy at times. But it's tough. You know, this team's now 9-19 nine, nine and 19 on the year. They're well on their way to a 14th place finish in the Big 12. They come home uh, back on Saturday – and you need a better effort from Jesse Edwards. I mean, that's that's obvious. 5.7 rebounds. I, I think he was held scoreless in the first half, maybe had one rebound, one of nine from the floor. 
Uh, Quinn Slazinski was not very efficient, one of eight, over over four from three. So these those two guys in particular need to have better games. And I get you're not going to have all five on the same of your starters, on the, you know, contributing at a high level at the same on the same night. But particularly with Jesse Edwards, he's got to be better. That was really the biggest difference in the first game between these two was Kansas State just absolutely killed West Virginia inside. And I figured that with Jesse Edwards being back, that would change some things. That would make them a little bit more competitive on the glass and in the paint. And that was not really the case. They had to really rely on Kirk Reese and Ray Kwambau. So uh, not much else to really say about this one. Uh, great effort after the, the, the disastrous start. Um, you got to at least tip your hat to Josh Shiler and this team for that, not giving in, just saying, up, oh, it's another loss, <laughs> down 25. Um, they showed a lot of grit, but couldn't couldn't get it all the way through to the finish line. And now they'll have uh, the next few days off here, or actually the rest of the week, uh, week off until they play back home on Saturday against Texas Tech, who is also in the mix uh, for, for big things this year in terms of uh, their seating in the Big 12 and so on and so forth. So, again, West Virginia falls to Kansas State in overtime 94-90. to We'll be back in action Saturday at 6 p.m. That one tipping off on ESPN2 against the Texas Tech Red Raiders. I'm Skyla Callen. This has been the Mountaineers Now Post Game Show presented by Country Roads Air Duct Cleaning. Take me home to comfort. Hit that subscribe button. Give us a like on YouTube at Mountaineers Now. Give us a follow on X at the same handle. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning for an episode of Between the Years.